This is my decision. Decision. So what's up guys, uh, welcome back. How are you guys doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys woke up well, you had a good dream, and I uh, wish you all the best today. So try as much as possible to start your day watching this video. Thank you for tuning in in advance. Well, let's talk about some a few crazy stuff that are going on. And uh, of course, you saw the title of the video, you saw Fina. Former Big Brother Niger housemate, and then we go to Bella and Mubad. Then other stuff we're going to be discussing in this video, guys. So let us start with Fina. Mm -hmm. uh, Fina said something recently, which I uh, will try as much as possible to systematically discuss it because of uh, various YouTube rules and regulations. Well, listen to what Fina said. Was a conversation everybody was talking mm -hmm. and plus and before i even come back to that issue of abortion now who talking on they know right, right. there's yeah. nobody no woman that will tell me she has not one or twice you get right. no i didn't give that interview to these people well she said issue of abo okay let me just call it abo issue of abo because that name the entire name youtube can flag it so you know exactly what I mean. Issue of Abo, she said, every woman has done one or two. One or two. And she didn't hand it. She also wrote something about it. Also stressing it. Backing her words. Trying to impute that into our society that every woman has done one or two and she also said if you drink postinio that na abo if you drink bicham amplicus and warm water that na abo <laughs> well i never knew fina was trying to make herself an advocate for abo and telling us how to carry out a ball. I don't know that is a new calling as a celebrity. Every, you know, now there's other celebrities they come up with different, different stuff. You see one will come up with Kayamata. You see other one will come up with one pussy skin. You see other one will come up with uh, BBL. You see other one will come up with bleaching. You know, everyone. So she now, she don't adopt a ball. See, so now she wants to talk about Now she wants to be relevant. So, you know what I think about this whole matter when I see it, when I try to analyze it, is that she's using a tactic, a technique that will allow her to feel that she's a good person. Because she has done this. You know when person don't bad. Maybe, for example, Ulu, she don't do Ulu, she tire. Lulu, they don't do Lulu show tire. They will just say, ah, everybody now Lulu show now. Your mother for us now Lulu show because they knock for money. If your father not get money, he, uh, your your mother go every day with him. Now everybody now Lulu show. All those kind of ladies that make such statement, go check their life history. They don't knock nothing, knock nothing, tire. So in order to make themselves feel good, they create this mindset in their head that everybody. Everybody around them, everybody in the, in the world are, are exactly like her. Ah, then she will not feel good. Have some relief. Ah, thank God I'm not the only person that is useless. Yes, the same thing with Fina. She don't carry uh, carry that thing out. Tire. She talk a mu. She said I everybody know, but waiting there are some things that you don't need to say. You keep your man shut. Has for God forgiveness. Who need you to advocate? She don't run a tire and I do not think it's once or twice or three or four or five or six or six or seven or ten or nine times. I am just saying no. I wasn't there. But I do not think. Eh? It's just one, two, three or four or five or six or ten. I think it's more than twenty. She's an expert in it, so she's making herself feel good. I wasn't there. Oh. But someone that makes those statements and start as try as much as possible to put
impose it on people. In fact, she doesn't deserve any respect from any girl. But now girls go the respect her past. She doesn't for making such statements. She doesn't. For it's on the way thing everybody. She's accusing all the girls in the world. She doesn't. So go chill, Fina. Then we still have other stuff to talk of. But well, let's go back to Bella's mother and uh, Bobad. You know, Bella decided to uh, send some uh, tribute to uh, to Mobad. Mobad was his good friend. He passed away. May so continue to rest in paradise. We are still praying for Mobad and uh, justice for Mobad. Everything they are doing, this and that. Bella wrote something post Mobad and his son. He said, you told me to stop it. I've been trying. I just hope you are okay where you are because have not been happy for days. I've been drinking and going back and forth and how to move on. It's sad that Abiola Imudu never get to know you, but you rest assured I will tell your story and I will definitely take care of your fruit. I am passing all the love to our son. Lo, Loki, and Bella, and so on. Okay. So, Bella's mother is again, you know, Bella's mother is one of all those uh, people that were really, really close to Mobad. Really, really close to Mobad. Really, really close. But in that closeness of Mobad, I hope he's giving his statement as well to the police. Because you cannot say your Aunt Bella and Zlatan. Who we are also who witness some of those few things, most especially Bella. I hope he's going to testify in court. No, we say you say you like person, like person, your own to the same tribute, 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 and yet you know Congo do the needful by testifying in court. I hope he's going to do that. Bella is one of those guys that was extremely, really, really close to Mobad. So if Bella can validate that that child belongs to Mobad, then because people are saying a lot of celebrity, a lot of our line people, they are saying that child doesn't belong to Mobad. So the mother say I've been pushed to carry out a DNA test. Bella is not saying that it's going to take care of uh, Mobad's child. Well, Bella, the public are not convinced that that child is Mobad's child because they believe. With the action of that woman, Bella's uh, Mobad S, uh, wife, uh, Mobad's wife, the actions she carried out are complicit. So they want her to take a DNA test, which is going to take a DNA test. I hope she takes a DNA test just to clarify the general public. But when the time comes for you to stand in front of the judge to 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 be patriotic to Mobad, I hope you are going to do the needful, Bella. We know you love uh, Mubai, you pay tribute, even did this uh, nice uh, uh, pendant with uh, Mubai's face on it, which is really, really nice because of uh, how good you guys were as friends. Really, really nice. But I hope you are going to come out to stand and tell your own side of the story and the things you witnessed while you were close to Mubai. Please, you have to do that. Huh? You have to do that just to clarify so many, many thoughts. That being said, I want to play you a video of a girl who claimed to have rendered help to a mother and her, and her kids who were sleeping in the streets. Apparently, this girl said she rented the house, gave this rented the house for this woman, gave her allowances, and was planning to open a business for her. But unfortunately, after doing all those all those things, this woman was still seen sleeping in the street. Why these children come and say, sleep for, for grand? I saw them sleeping on the floor. Why? Madam, madam, madam. If I was here, they use these children in the business where they use them. I would have really want to stop you. Why did you bring them outside? Why are they sleeping on the floor? Why did you run when you saw me? Why did you tell them to sleep on the floor this night? Why are they sleeping on the floor? I raised hands for you. You, 
you you carry your children start to sleep for no, grand again. If I don't come here this night, I don't go. I don't go. Who say you see the come and say they sleep for grand? What is you they go there? What is why are these children still sleeping on the floor? Because you saw my car. Because you saw my car. You tell me they stand. Say, uh, if you check, eh, if you check very well, no, if you check very well, this woman, I think this woman has about 10 houses already. 10 houses she has already put on rentage. Maybe several good Samaritans has walked up to this woman to assist her renting her apartment, but she will decide to repoot the house on rent to another person, collect the money pocket it then go back to the same spot to start seeking for help all over again this woman deserves to be arrested immediately she should be arrested and well dealt with and all her accounts they should go and check her account all the money should be given to a charity organization so that they can use the money to take care of these kids she should lose custody of the children because she's not going to stop. She's an old woman. She's not going to stop. She will continue. Even if you talk to her, you beg her not to, she will leave that state, that environment, go to another environment and continue. This is not the first time we have, we have, we have seen these uh, cases, cases before. We have seen so many cases before. People, they have helped and they, and they still want to remain in that current position because of what they are gaining they don't want to work they don't want to hustle they just depend on begging that is why people do not want to help anymore that is why this kind of thing thing now will not allow will not let any guy anybody who have that mind to help a woman close to a woman and a, and a, and, a, and, a, and a family that are really in need of things that guy or that woman wouldn't want to help that family because of what he or she have seen online because of this kind of women because of the kind of women the women who actually deserve sympathy the women who deserve public help they are not getting the help they deserve because of this kind of woman this woman need to be jailed she need to be jailed. This girl shouldn't stop here. May God continue to bless that girl. This girl need to report this. Thank God. They need to arrest this woman and jail her. She belongs, she belongs in jail. She doesn't deserve sympathy. 